Hi Chris here, good morning and welcome to today's two minute tip. Today I want to talk about how we do curve fitting for hyperelastic material properties test data. So let's just start off looking at our test data. Here I can see I've got stress strain data for uniaxial tension, biaxial tension and pure shear and I want to create a material model that I can use in my analysis uh, for this rubber, for this hyperelastic material. So to do the curve fitting we go down to this engineering data section where we define our material properties and I'm going to create a, a, a new material I'll call it my rubber and what we have to do first is add the test data to my rubber so you can see on the right hand side hyperelastic experimental data uniaxial test data so I'll just drag that across and drop it onto my rubber repeat the process for the bi biaxial data and repeat the process for the shear data. So now I have data sets for those three experimental data sets of results. So if we go to uniaxial test data, the way we enter this data is quite straightforward. If I copy the two columns, the strain and the stress data, and then up here I just paste, and we can see we've got our data entered for uniaxial test data. Just repeat that process for biaxial tension. So again, grab the data. I'm using Control C to copy that, and Control V to paste the data into the engineering uh, data section. And we'll just repeat for pure shear. So again, Control C to copy the data, select the table, and paste in my. Pure, uh, my shear test data. So now we have our test data entered, uniaxial test data, biaxial test data and shear test data. The next step is to fit a material model to that data. Now I, I've got a third order model here, we've got some hardening and some softening. Uh, so I'm going to use the Euro third order model and I'll just drag that onto my rubber. And down here we can see the Euro third order model is characterized by six constants and we have to fit a curve through our test data to extract those constants and we do this it's a fairly simple procedure you just select curve fitting right mouse click solve curve fit and we can see ANSYS has fit uh, some curves through our experimental data and if we're happy with those again we just select uh, the curve fitting uh, box right mouse click and copy the calculated values into our material model. So now we've got the parameters defined for our uh, year or third order material model and we can go away and use this in our simulation. So thank you for attending today's two minute tip.